What's going on YouTube? My Larks is name. We're back for a player review. This time on Sergio Canales' Tots card. Now it's looking like a very, very good card, by the way. Five foot nine, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skill moves, four star weak foot. Had the position change, obviously, to right mid. Cost me just under 60k. Now, Canales, interestingly, has the lean body type in game, which is probably the most meta body type you can get on this game. So I'm really intrigued to use this card, obviously. It looks really, really good. Now, looking at the stats, obviously, I've put a Hawk on him just to max out the pace and shooting. He's already got very, very good passing, as you can see. That doesn't really need anything on it. Dribbling again is very good. 95 agility with that lean body type. He's going to be so overpowered in game. Now, this is the interesting stat as well. He's got very good defending as well. 90 stand tackle, 81 defensive awareness, 98 interceptions. Again, it's always going to be in the right places, obviously, when your interceptions are so high, which is vital in this game. So, we can play him in a few different positions, which I'm interested to see what he's like in game. Now, physical is very good as well. The only thing that does let him down is the jumping. Obviously, that's not the end of the world. So, like I said, he's jumping, obviously, with the uh, Hulk chemistry style on him. It does put him up to 57. Stamina, very, very good at 97. Obviously, strength goes up to 91 and aggression 92. Now, he's got quite good player traits as well. Finesse shot, flair, long shot taker, playmaker. Obviously, injury prone as well, which rarely happens. But again, it can be annoying, obviously, in game. Obviously, if they do get injured. Now, long shot taker, finesse shot. Like I said, I'm going to play him on the left-hand side of a midfield, like in a 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1. I won't really play him out wide. I mean, you can do. I just feel like because of how good his defense, defense is, is, obviously his interceptions and stand tackle, I feel like we need to play him centrally to make the most of that. So, like I said, we'll play him in like a 4-3-3. We'll play him in a 4-2-3-1. Obviously, we'll try him in the cam and then sent like a box-to-box -box midfield. I feel like they will be the two best positions for him. Obviously, because of the high medium work rates, if I do play him as box-to-box, -box, I will have him on stay back while attacking because he's automatically going to push up anyway because of the high attacking work rate. Obviously, because of the defensive work rates at medium, obviously, I'll have him on stay back while attacking. So, we we'll automatically just start getting back when we lose the ball. Another formation I do want to try is the 4-1-2-1-2. Obviously, I want to play him on that uh, right-hand side. Obviously, he's left-footed. I want to try them for their shots, see how good they are in game. He's got the trait, long shot taker. Also has very, very good curve as well. 96 curve, 96 shot, long shots. Obviously, which has been maxed out now because we've got that whole chemistry style. Shot power's up to 99. So, this is looking like an incredible card, by the way. Um, so, yeah, let's play a few games of Foot Champs qualifiers and let's see how we get on. As you can see, Canales making them runs in behind. Just wanted to try them finesse shots. So close. There you go. There's Canales. On the right foot. Probably the defender dropped to the floor. Could have went a little bit closer. Again, Canales just holding his run. Nice bit of skill. Oh, he just can't get that pass across. Again, yeah, nice skill. Run a defender. Ball rolls inside. Oh, I should have got the finish again. You can see how silky he is in game because that lean body type. Again, there you go. Canales back in there, making his defensive, making sure he's doing his defensive duties. And what a ball that is. There you go. Puts it almost on the plate for Zaha, though, but what a pass. Again, with the Hawk chemistry style, look at the pace as well. Just able to get away from Goretzka. And just left stick dribbling, as you can see. Oh, I just couldn't really use L1 dribbling to get around him. Oh, I've won it back, though. Should be an assist, but he's got a penalty anyway. Look at that. Nice bit of dribbling. Dribbles out of a tight space. Round another one. Picks out a great pass to Mbappe. There's the assist. What a ball. What a bit of play that is from Canales. Nice bit of skill. Ah, oh, it's great finish. Great bit of play. Really, really liking this card, to be honest with you. 60k. Very good value, by the way. Again, nice bit of footwork. Oh, and what a goal that is. What a goal that is. Twist Cancelo inside and out, and then he whips it like that. That, that is a great goal. Again, nice bit of dribbling there from Canales. Ooh, 
Unlucky, not to get an assist. Good bit of play though. Oh, it's a great goal. As soon as he gets in on that left foot, it's game over. And what a ball that is. Straight into Zaha. Again, it's unlucky, but what a pass that was, though. Again, Canales. Uh, good, that left stick dribbling is L1 as well. Just toying with his offenders. Look, R1 pressing me. Can he keep going as well? This is ridiculous. Oh, he's almost put it in the top corner as well. What a goal that would have been. There you go, Canales dropping back in from in defence. Obviously, they've just had a corner. And look at that little turn inside and out. Away from Vieira. And half time over. What a great run that was. Again, Canales getting back in there, winning the ball back. There you go, Canales winning the ball back. Oh, Canales, last kick of the game. Look at the time on the watch. He's done it again. Look at this. Look at the finesse. Allison nowhere near it. What a goal. So, as we see from the gameplay, this guy's an absolute beast. Played three games with him, obviously. Two of the games went into extra time as well. Four goals, one assists. I mean, there's not really too much this card can't do. Four-star, four-star, left-footed, high-medium work rates. This guy is an absolute beast. Now, looking at the obviously the attribute details with the chemistry style that I use, the Hawk, I feel like the Hawk's probably the best chemistry style for him, depending on what position you're probably going to play him. Um, I did play him in the uh, right cam, obviously, just to try out them uh, finesse shots to see how good they were in game. And they were a joke, by the way. Obviously, a last-minute uh, equaliser to take us extra time. What a goal it was as well. Now, like I said, if you are going to play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, I would definitely recommend putting the anchor on. Still maximizes at his pace, but obviously gives his defending and physical um, a little bit more of a boost as well. Boost his strength up to 96. So he'd be a bit more of a beast in tackles. Because of his high medium work rates, if you are going to play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, I would have him on stay back while attacking because he's automatically going to go forward because of his high attacking work rate anyway. Medium defensive work rate means he won't get back as quick, but with the stay back while attacking, he will automatically just go back into position. Now, being honest with you, I couldn't find anything wrong with his card, obviously, with the Hawk on. Obviously, all the anchor is going to max out his pace. His shooting is an absolute joke with the Hawk on, as you see, the shot power, the long shots are maxed out. He's already got good player traits, long shot taker and finesse shot. So, to be honest with you, if you get it on that left foot, in them type of positions, and your green time and finesse shots, you're going to score a ton of goals this card. Now, I'm really surprised at how cheap this card is, because it is the real deal. 60k got very very good shooting his passing is top tier by the way look at that 99 vision 95 short pass 98 long pass as you see i was playing passes all over the park very good composure you see late in on game getting pressed still able to play balls down the line left and right footed which is really really good agility wise because of his lean body type is absolutely crazy in game l1 dribbling just paces past people left stick dribbling just moves side to side people can't keep up with him i don't know what he's going to do next it's an absolute joke of a card Defensively, he's always in the right position. Very good defensive AI. I wouldn't say it's top tier defensive AI because obviously because of the high medium work rates, he does push forward a little bit more than you probably want him to. But when he is actually in position and defending, he's very, very good. That's the thing. Defensive awareness, obviously that needs to improve. Obviously, if you are going to play him as a box to box, like I said, putting the anchor chemistry style on will absolutely max out his defending a lot better and make him a lot better defensively. Obviously, because of the interceptions anyway, already makes him quite good and puts him in the right position. Physically, again, obviously, because he's he's only five foot nine, he will sometimes get pushed off the ball a little bit. Obviously, because his physique, obviously, is lean, which is a good body type, but it's not always the strongest body type in terms of defending. Obviously, but it's a very very good body type, and yeah, like I said, physically, he didn't get pushed off the ball too many times. But obviously, against more physical players, a high average body type, sort of like a Vieira, Diaz, Indica, these types of obviously defensive players. Obviously, yeah, he will obviously lose out. But there's obviously that's literally because of his height. It's not because of anything else in game.
Now, if I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10, I'm going to give it a 10. Like I said, it's not too often. Obviously, all Tots cards are going to be very overpowered, by the way. So you'll expect a lot of high, high ratings and reviews, what I do. But like I said, his pace is maxed out. Shooting is absolutely amazing. Passing is absolutely top tier. Dribbling, very good. Obviously, lean body type on top of that as well. His traits are very good as well. Long shot taker, finesse shot. So even if you do have the anchor on, he's still going to be very, very good with the long shots. Can play in multiple positions if you wanted to play him on a right or left sided cam. It's entirely up to you. I feel like the best position is obviously the box to box because of how good his defending is. Obviously, with the anchor, we'll absolutely still maximize that his physical as well. So you put his strength and aggression up into the 90s, which you're going to need. Obviously, the only thing he's not good at is obviously winning headers. Obviously, he's not got a very good jump. But other than that, this card is a top, top tier card. Very good defensively as well, dribbling. I, I could go on all night to be honest with you. That's just me being honest. I think it's a really, really good card for 60k that I paid for it. I really, honestly, I didn't really think it would be as good as this, obviously because of the price range. But you know, you're going to get an absolute steal if you get it once you get this card. Obviously, 60k. It's not someone you're probably going to want from your red picks. Obviously, you're going to probably want someone a bit more expensive. But this is a very, very nice card, and a lot of people probably should be able to buy this card at 60k. So yeah, what a card. 10 out of 10, and to be honest with you, I couldn't find too many things that were wrong with it. It's a very, very good card. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA without spending any money on the game, looking for general FIFA chat, or looking for ways to improve your team, you're not too sure how, join my FIFA trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's on Discord. It's free to join, so make sure you go and check it out, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time...